In this video we're going to have a look at finding the arc length of a sector. So a sector is part of a circle, it's part of a circle that looks a bit like a slice of pizza. So it's a chunk cut out of that circle. And an arc is the portion of the circumference, so from the radius to the other radius all the way around there, that's the arc. Okay. So what do we know already about arcs or circumferences? Well, we know that for a circle, to work out the circumference, we do pi times the diameter. Okay, so that would tell us the circumference of the entire circle. So we need to adapt that somehow so we can find the portion here, so we can find the arc length. So what portion of the entire circumference is that? Well, let's have some numbers to work with then to start with. So let's say that the radius there was 4 and the angle there was 60. Well, for the entire circle, so for the whole circle, I would do circumference is pi times, and don't forget if this is the radius, then the diameter would be double that, so the diameter would be 8 centimetres. So I'm going to do pi times 8. And if I work that out, that would be about 25.1 centimetres, and that's rounded to one decimal place. OK, now I've got to think, well, I haven't got the whole circle, I've got a portion of it. What portion have I got? So let's have a look there. We've got 60 degrees out of the entire circle. Now an entire circle is 360 degrees, so I've got 60 degrees out of 360 in total. Now if you cancelled that fraction down, you'd actually find out that that was one-sixth of the circle, which makes sense because that looks like about a sixth chunk of the circle. So I've got 60 out of 360 degrees of that answer. So I've got 60 out of 360 of pi times 8. So if I work out what that is, that's 4.188 blah blah blah. So rounding that to one decimal place, that would be 4.2 centimetres. Don't forget, because we're finding a length, our units will be centimetres. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So in this one I've got um, a slightly bigger sector. I've got an obtuse angle there. It doesn't change the process though. Now first of all, if the radius is 3, the diameter is going to be 6. I've got 125 degrees out of a total of 360 degrees in the entire circle times pi times the diameter, which is 6.5 four four and some other bits. So rounding that to one decimal place, that's six point five centimetres. Now be very, very careful with these questions. We've just worked out the arc length, so all we've worked out here is that length all the way around there. If they asked you to work out the perimeter of that sector in a similar sort of way to semicircles and quarter circles, not only would we have the arc length all the way around there, but we'd also have these two radii, so two radiuses, radii, to add on. So if we wanted to work out the perimeter, we'd have to make sure that we did 6.5 plus 3 plus 3, which is going to give us 12.5 centimetres altogether. Watch out for little tricks like that. Make sure you read the question carefully. Is it asking for arc length? In which case you're just doing the angle divided by 360 times pi times the diameter. Or is it asking for perimeter? In which case you'd need to add on these two bits there, so the two radiuses. And that's how you work out arc length of a sector or perimeter of a sector.